Hello and welcome to another Ad Puzzle video tutorial. Last time we've looked at how to create and manage your classes. In today's video tutorial, you will learn how to assign, track, and grade Ad Puzzle assignments. If for some reason you've missed previous parts of this tutorial, I will leave the link in the description. There are three ways how you can assign an Ad Puzzle video clip to your class. You can either create a simple assignment, you can create assignment through Google Classroom, and finally, there's also a live view. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at each of these options one at a time. Once you've found a clip that you would like to assign, in my case, this is going to be water cycle song. I'm going to click on this video to enter the preview mode. From here, we're going to click assign. From this screen, we're going to select which classes we are going to assign our Ad Puzzle video. We're going to just assign this video for my Ad Puzzle Classic class, but you need to understand that you can assign one clip to multiple classes at the same time. Once I've selected the class, I can also select a due date. Also, I can select prevent skipping. If you do that, students will not be able to skip parts of the video. They will need to watch the entire clip. I highly recommend you leave it on. Post on Google Classroom option is grayed out because I did not select my Google Classroom class. I can either assign the assignment now or I can, I can schedule this assignment for later. In my case, I will assign it right now. Now, once I've clicked Assigned, Adpuzzle will take me to a tracking view. At the bottom, you see students. I only have two students in this class. Their progress, when was the last time they watched Adpuzzle and whether they turned in the assignment or not. Turned in, in this case, means they watched till the end. This is where the assignment is turned in automatically. In the bottom right corner, you see a couple of options. You can share this assignment. Well, let's talk about it a little bit later. We will talk about go live a little bit later as well. We don't have any progress yet, so there's nothing to reset. Download grades will be available once students complete the assignment and delete the assignment is self-explanatory. Students have two options as to how they will access this assignment. The first option is for students to simply go onto the Adpuzzle platform. If I, as a student, go to my Adpuzzle Classic class, I will see that I have Water Cycle Song as one of my assignments. Another way for students to see the assignment is for you to send them the link. So let's try and see what it looks like. I will go to Share Assignment, and from here I will copy the link. Now, once I've copied the link, I'll send it to my students. So as you can see, this link will take the student directly to the assignment, directly to the water cycle song, whereas for our student who just entered the Ad Puzzle, they just saw that, well, there's a new assignment on their Ad Puzzle. As a student, I'm going to start my Ad Puzzle assignment by clicking play. Because we prevented students from skipping the assignment when we created this assignment, students cannot jump back and forth. They will need to see the entire clip from the beginning to the end. Let's go back to our teacher's view to see if something changed from our end. You can notice that John Green has made 10% of the progress. They watched the video clip a few seconds ago, and now this student has an open-ended question. Let's quickly type our answer. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to click Submit and continue watching. There'll be instant feedback for me as a student telling me that my answer is not correct and the right answer is A. And as a student, I have two options. I can either re-watch the portion of the clip that was leading up to this question or click continue. If I click re-watch, Ad Puzzle will take me 10 seconds before the question, uh, sort of to reinforce my understanding because I made a mistake. And we'll also notice that once uh, I reach the question that I got wrong, I won't be able to submit another answer. And the only option again I have is rewatch or continue. And this time I'm going to continue. So from the teacher's end, we can see that John Green completed 80% of the clip. If you want more detailed information, you can click the name of the student, which will show you percentage of the clip he or she has watched. You can go to previous student or next student from in the top right corner. Our first student, Mike Brown, has not started watching the clip yet. That's why there's no stats there. Uh, John Green now finished watching the clip, so I can click show results. And I don't have my grade yet because one of the questions was an open edit question and I as a teacher will have to grade it 
manually. On my screen now, I can see that there is one answer to be graded. This will be an answer from the student. This is my answer. And as a teacher, I can either mark it as incorrect or correct answer. I can also leave a comment for the student. So why don't we leave a comment and mark this answer as correct? Comment is well done and the answer is correct. Once we've graded all questions included open-ended question as a student I can now click on get results and see that my score is 67 out of 100 as a student I can also go to complete it click on show all and see that I've completed water cycle song and my grade is 67 once your students completed the assignment you can download their grades at puzzle will then generate an excel sheet that will include the name of the students their grades and all other information as well you can also go to your gradebook get this information from there and click on export gradebook this will also generate an excel file which you can view on your computer this is what the classic assignment looks like let's now move ahead and see how we can assign edpuzzle through google classroom first thing we need to do is to find a clip that we would like to assign to our students again we're going to assign water cycle song we're going to go into the preview mode click assign we're going to select add puzzle Google Classroom and as you notice once I've selected this clip I can now post it on the Google Classroom once I've done that and click assign what Ed puzzle does he posts this assignment on the students Google Classroom feed and let's jump back to the students view to see what it looks like from their end I've received a notification right now and I can see that there's a new uh, assignment via Ad Puzzle, Ad Puzzle Water Cycle Song. If I click on this assignment, there is an attachment for this assignment which will take me to the Ad Puzzle. Once I click on this link, I will select the Google Chrome browser. Now, and this is a very important step that your students will need to take the first time you post Ad Puzzle through the Google Classroom. Once a student click on sign in, with Google, they will need to select an account which they use for Google Classroom. So it's, it's very important so your students understand that they will need to select the same Google account that they use for their Google Classroom so Edpuzzle can connect their account on Edpuzzle and Google Classroom. The interface looks the same. As a student, I can now play the clip and start answering the questions. Both of my students completed the assignment. Because this Edpuzzle class is synced with my Google Classroom, if I go back to my Google Classroom, you will see that the scores have been automatically updated for the students on both our teachers and, and on students end as well. You can see that their score is 33 out of 100, and I didn't even touch Google Google Classroom yet all the work has been done through the Ad Puzzle. This is what the assignment looks like for the classes that have been imported from the Google Classroom. The final way to assign Ad Puzzle videos to your students is through Live View. During the Live View, students are actually watching the video clip on the overhead projector and answering on their devices. We're going to assign the same motorcycle video clip. We're going to click on assign. This time we are going to assign this video to our open class. I'm going to click assign. From here I can go and go live. The go live feature is only possible when you are in one classroom and you can actually project your clip onto the projector and students will be able to view it. Once you're ready to project your video onto the screen or onto the overhead projector, click go live. As you can see, as a student, I cannot play it back because a teacher in this case controls the uh, flow of the video clip. As a teacher, I can now see that I have two students waiting to go live. Once I have all the students, I'm going to click start. Once we reach one of the questions, students will see these questions on their devices. As a student, I now need to import my answer. Let's do it on both my phone and iPad. As a teacher, I can now see that two of the two students answered. If I click continue, this will show the right answer on the board. And as a student, I will get feedback on my device. This student, for example, answered correctly and the student on the iPad did not answer correctly. As a teacher, I can now show responses, the summary, how many students answered A, how many students answered C and B without revealing identity of the students. Once you've finished Ad Puzzle Life, you can go to the Students tab and see the progress, extract the grades and report cards in the same manner as you would do in the normal assignment. 
Today you've learned how to assign Adpuzzle videos to your students through three different methods. Creating a simple assignment, assigning Adpuzzle through Google Classroom, or doing Adpuzzle live. If you have any questions about the materials that we've talked about today, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Next time we're going to have a look at the Adpuzzle student project. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.